Hello everyone and welcome. You guys know that I'm always looking for the best tools to make your life easier. Well today we'll be looking at a multi-purpose electric wall sander. This sander has a lot of potential to be used as a drywall sander for walls and ceilings. Plus it also has potential to work great as a floor sander. That is why I decided to try out this unit and see how useful it can actually be. So I thought I would bring you guys along and see just how useful this ceiling, wall and floor sander can really be. So stick around as I unbox and test this puppy. Alright guys, so here we're looking at the electric wall sander with built-in vacuum from Bravex available on their website, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $239.97 and that includes free shipping so you don't need to worry about that. We're going to go over all the attachments and everything included in just a moment, but I should point out that this unit works with 8.5 or 9 inch sanding pads. And this guy comes with a 3 year warranty. This guy is powered up by a 6.5 amp 800 watt motor with replaceable brushes which are included. This guy has 6 variable speeds to choose from ranging from 500 to 1800 RPMs. The head will pivot 90 degrees and it has a detachable anti-scuff ring making it easy to use in just about any application including sanding edges and tight corners. This guy has a 26 foot power cord giving you a large range of movement and a 6.6 .6 foot dust collection hose that hooks up to a large dust collection bag to reduce the amount of dust created. This guy has a folding and telescoping rod for convenient use in just about any situation and it has LED lights to help you see better the work that you're doing. So this sander is great for sanding just about any application from sanding drywalls on walls and ceilings to even sanding hardwood floors. You can also use it to sand wood siding on your house if you need to. Instead of renting a sander or beating yourself up doing it by hand this compact lightweight unit rotates and folds to suit just about any sanding application while keeping you in a more upright and more comfortable working environment. Let's test this puppy and see how it performs. Alright guys, now that I have this guy all unpacked, let's go over all the accessories and let's get a little closer look at it, get more familiar with the unit itself. I didn't cover the accessories earlier because there's a lot to cover here. As you can see right there, the gray bag, that is the dust collection bag. You also have a bag underneath it. That bag is your storage bag. So basically when you're not using the unit, you can fold it up and put it inside this big black storage bag right there. So we'll look at that a little later. You also get a little screwdriver that comes with it, some hearing protection, some eye protection, and a dust mask. You also get some uh, adapters right there for using it with all sorts of uh, shop bags and so forth. You get the brushes right there, which is very convenient. This is a brushed motor, and I'll show you where the brushes are. They're very easy to use and get to, and it comes with two brushes so you can replace it later if you need to. It comes with a 26-foot cord, as you can see right there, and we'll be using that in a little bit. But 26 feet, that is pretty big, and that should make it very easy to use in just about any situation. You also get the owner's manual right there that you should read through and get familiar with the unit if you decide to get this guy. And then you get 12 pads over here, 6 of 120 and 6 of 320, so that way you can take care of just about any kind of sanding that you need. And like I said previously, you can use 8.5 or 9 inch pads for sanding with this unit, so you can get whatever is convenient for you, whichever one happens to be on sale or least expensive. And you also get a dust collection hose right there that you can use with the dust collection bag, or you can use that with a shop bag if you want to. This guy has a built-in vacuum right there at the head, that big motor on top, that is the vacuum unit and it sucks up all the dust as you're using it. But if you want to get some extra power, you can also hook it up to a shop back and that way you have double the suction coming out of the unit. This guy has quite a few different little intricacies right there. That little gray button right here, this guy right here, you can lock it in or out depending on how you're using it because that is basically for when you want to lock the head in a 90 degree position. Right now it's 180. When you're up there pointing it straight up like you're using it on a ceiling, then you can lock it in place so it doesn't come back down on you and makes it easier to use. As far as the brushes go, they go right in these little connectors right here. It just has little uh, screws that you pull out and then you put in the new brushes and you're good to go. Very easy to replace those guys. 
Now, as far as the unit goes, it has three different sections to it and three different ways that you can use it. You see it right here in the middle, it will come separated at this joint right here. Let me show you on this side over here. You see this little lever right here, you can detach it and separate it and it's pretty tight, but right there, you separate it and this guy will separate right there. This guy will separate right there as you see. And if you want to, you can always attach a shot back right there and you can use the bottom section alone without using the top one. Now the top one there will fold over. You can't get rid of it completely, but you can use this bottom section if you're in a really tight area, you see that it does have an overmold right here, so you can hold it this way if you need to. If you're in a really tight area and you don't have room to have the entire rod attached to it. So that's fairly convenient right there. Then you can attach it. So this right here would be about 26 inches for the first section right there. If you use the whole thing, if you attach it and you close this guy back up and you have it fully attached, it is about 52 inches for the first part of the unit right there. The first half is about 52 inches. If you extend the rod, because this rod will extend both in and out, it goes in and out right there, then you tighten up that knob right there to make it secure. Then you attach the hose right there at the back for dust collection. It'll go out to about 67 inches. So you have quite a bit of coverage right there from one section to using two sections or using all three sections. So you have quite a bit to choose from right there. Now, as far as the unit goes, up here on the handle, you have a few different buttons that you can use. This right here is the speed selector. You can go all the way up to six. So one through six for the different speeds that you wanna use. This is for the LED lights because it does have some LEDs we'll look at in a minute. And the trigger actually locks in place. You have the trigger right there, you press this button, and it locks in place so you don't have to be holding it the entire time you're using it. Press it again, it releases, you're good to go. As you see, it has a rubber overmold on every place that is convenient for you to grab it and that way you have more stability and easier for you to maneuver it. Now up here, here is where you have control over the dust collection. You can have it higher, lower, more or less, whatever you want, that's how you control the dust collection. These right here are LEDs that light up so you can see your work, what you're doing better. And this right here is an anti-scuff ring, so that way you don't damage anything. It has like a rubbery plastic uh, bumper to it, that way you don't damage things when you're sanding. But if you need to get into really hard to reach areas and you wanna get rid of it, this outer ring will come detached. And like I was showing you earlier, let me flip this over right here. You can see the white part, that's the ring that comes off. So that way you only have the sanding head if you need to get into tight areas. This little guy has little ball bearings on here to make it easier for it to roll. That way when you're sanding, it'll roll and give you a nice tight suction on there so you can get better dust collection when you're doing some work. So there you go. And the pads, they're basically attached to there with Velcro, hook and loop, whatever you want to call it. So there you go. So that's how that unit looks. And then we're going to do a little bit of testing with it right now and see how this little guy performs. So let's check that out. All right guys, so here we have the unit fully assembled. I have all the attachments and everything on it. And you can see that is with all the rods extended fully. That's how big it is. And you see the hose extended on it right there, attached to it I should say, with the dust collection bag attached at the end of it. Right now for this demonstration, I'm gonna use it with the dust collection bag. I'm not gonna create a lot of dust today, but if I really was, I might actually hook up my shop back to it. That's personal convenience. If you don't have the space and so forth, you can use the bag because the bag does have a handle and so forth back here or whatever you want to call it. You can use it like a backpack and you can hang it on your back and then just move around very conveniently and easily. But if you're going to create a lot of dust and you want to have more suction, I would say use a shop back. It can hook up to that hose and give you a lot more suction and a little, lot further away from you so you don't have to have that on your back if you don't want to. And also you can see the cord, how long it is. I have it plugged in all the way over there on my bench and it's sitting over here. Look how far that reaches. And as you can see, it's not fully extended. It's still just drooping there on the floor. So that cord goes really, really far away. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do some testing right here and I have a big piece of plywood right there that I'm gonna do some testing as if I was doing some drywall sanding on a wall. And then we'll look and see what it looks like doing a ceiling and doing a floor. 
And I do have some projects coming up in the future where I will be using this little guy, and you'll see how it works, for actual drywall sanding. But I'm not ready to talk about that just yet, but you will know when I make the video for that drywall project. So stay tuned for that in the future. But one thing I wanted to point out as well, as far as the sanding paper goes, it looks like they changed up the selection from what it says on their website. Actually, they gave you more selection, which is a good thing. You see right there that they give you two of each, a total of 12. As you can see, two of each, total of 12. But instead of what I said previously, they give you some 80 grit, some 100 grit, some 120, 150, 180, and 240. So they actually give you a bigger selection of sanding paper than what it says on their website. That's what I was going by previously before I had actually unpacked all this stuff. But now that I have it unpacked, I can update you and tell you more precisely exactly everything that's in there. So let me get this guy hooked up and let's start doing some testing and see how it sands that guy over there. Alright guys, there you have it, a review and demonstration of the Bravex drywall sander, which I would call a multi-purpose sander actually, because this little guy can do a lot of different jobs. As you saw, I tested it as a drywall sander, as a floor sander, and as a ceiling sander, and it did the job just fine. There's a piece of plywood that I was using it on, and you see that it took off the paint without any trouble whatsoever. And I could have kept going further, but I didn't really have a need to. I'll be using this on future projects, and you'll see how it performs. But anyway, I think it's actually a pretty darn good unit. I mean, you have a really long pole to extend out to whatever it is you need to reach. You have the dust collection bag, you have a really long cord, and you have the really long hose to suck up anything that you need and have minimal dust in where you're working. And then you have a nice bag to keep it all in when it's all put away and you don't have a use for it. So a pretty darn good unit right there at a fairly reasonable price. So I think it's a darn good unit right there. I'm glad that I got it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out their website for complete details. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.